Okay, so a little bit of follow-up here on this tomato that was uh, had the uh, minor infestation of the red bugs and something sucking on it. Uh, this is uh, this is about day six, to be honest with you. I have, I have to look at the video and capture the exact days, but I think it's day six, and you know we didn't see any results after day two, so I stopped recording it, and came back till I got a final result, or waited a week, but. Where we are right now, which I think I might be done with this, is whatever this bug was that was sucking on it, if I can focus in on that, I'm sorry, it is dead. So I just don't know if that's just he has a short lifespan or he died. For whatever reason, he's dead. So I found that interesting and the chiggers or what I... <laughs> what we used to call them in Arkansas. Let me see if I can zoom in better. But they're not moving. And tried to poke one. Let me see if I can poke one and get it to move. But it's not. Eh, you have to I have to apologize for this camera, but they're not moving. So I'm not entirely certain if they did. But they're totally unresponsive. And I might be able to get a better zoom. I don't know, I think that might be the best I can do. So, uh, in an attempt, let's see if I ain't got the right one here, to get this thing to move, I can't. I touch it. He looks like he's dead. Watching these things crawl all over, either he is intoxicated with juices from this tomato or he's dead and this one here uh, I can't seem to get a response from him either so I just touch him and he falls off down here these three guys I touch him not getting a response touching him I believe he's dead as well. So actually I think I can just knock all of these guys off. I'm going to try to get a picture of one up close. But either compost tea created a film. And I, I kind of expected if it created a biofilm, which is what folks say, that they would just leave. But it appears that maybe the compost tea killed them. I don't know. What I'm noticing here in the soil is there's still some alive in the soil. So there's one right there who's alive and well in the soil, and that's kind of what they look like crawling around. But all the ones on the plant are dead, and for some reason, he's not climbing on the plant. So it is a very real possibility that compost tea kill certain bugs, the biofilm, the aerobic bacteria that dies there. I don't know, it either had something to do with killing them or the it created a biofilm and the ones that didn't like it left and the ones that died of natural causes just died and stayed here on the stem. But either way, bottom line is I have a tomato here that has no chiggers on it. There are no, I can't call them red creatures or red thingies but there are none on it living. All the ones I find here refuse to move and when I touch them a few times they fall off. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't think that's conclusive but I find it highly interesting and I'm gonna have to do a bit more experimentation with infestations and compost tea. If you guys have seen some similar results I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to grab a few more tomatoes that have these red bugs on them and treat them and see what happens. The results of dipping the whole branch in the compost tea was slightly different. So here's the flower that was dipped in the compost tea and uh, it certainly killed every last bug on it. Uh, or every last bug is gone. Every last uh, aphid. I don't see any that are living. Uh, it looks like they just let. No, wait a minute. No, there's something right there. I don't know what that is on the tip right there. He's crawling around. 
Uh, looks like it might just be a fruit fly or something. But case in point, what I was going after was to attack this infested branch. Uh, the branch was pretty infested like this one right here. Actually it was worse. It had aphids all clumped up on it like that. And now, I guess it killed all the flowers, but all the aphids are gone too. So what does that mean? I have no idea. Uh, maybe it just means you don't dip the whole branch in, uh, in the compost tea. Uh, or it just means that comp they really don't like compost tea. Uh, so an extreme example, you know, obviously dipping the whole leaf in the compost, the whole branch in the compost tea. But uh, it might make a strong statement that whatever bacteria is in there, it's killing bugs or those bugs just really don't like it and they got out of dodge. But uh, I'll continue on with a little bit more. And here's a branch here. I think what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to spray this one and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Here we go, I got my compost tea. And uh, really should strain this. I'm going to kind of do this real quickly, but um, this is about, uh, what's in there? She's about maybe halfway full. So this might be a one to five mixture compost tea. So, that guy in there, go ahead and steal these up, and uh, man, I highly recommend you get one of these little sprayers, I think this spray was like $13, you gardeners know what these are, and you probably got millions of them, this is all new to me, so, uh, or at least again, taking it seriously, but definitely get yourself a sprayer, don't get a used one if you're trying to do the organic thing. Because I guarantee, nine times out of ten, some real nasty stuff has been in this guy. Um, but anyway, picked out here a, a good one. And uh, whew, looks like we got some beneficials flying around. But here's another good branch I'm going to do a quick experiment on. As you can see, she is full of aphids. Uh, it looks like the whole top use my hand as, as some sort of a measurement but it's got to be about five six inches just full of aphids so um, as some sort of a control here's a branch right next to it it's got lots of aphids but uh, I'm not going to spray this one I'm going to go ahead and spray this one and but this time we're not going to overdo it we're not going to use a, uh, a dunking method we're going to spray, and I'm going to attempt to do it in a way that doesn't spray them off. So, let me see if I can just... I don't, want to, I don't want them to fall off. I kind of just want to get it pretty soaked. And, yeah. Ah, right, there you go. That's the stuff. Mmm, breathing it in, too. Doesn't that just smell and taste delicious? I see why they call it compost tea. Anyway, she's so sprayed down. I'd say that uh, huh, she's even scared of mosquito. Anyway, uh, she's so sprayed down that she's got droplets of water mixture with compost tea. So let's go away, wait a day or two, and see what happens.